the Lego Undead Part 1. An outbreak of zombies has been going on for five months now. Many people are stranded on the streets as their homes were invaded by the undead. You, the U.S. military has set up safe zones all around the city and are send, trying to send in shoppers all over the place to try to pick people up and send them to different safe zones everywhere. The whole world has been overrun by zombies. Will everybody be able to survive or will they perish? I don't know. Let's find out. Guys, I feel like we've been walking down the street for miles. Well, we have no other choice but to keep going. Yeah. Plus, I am a local police officer, so I think I can take you guys to a police station. Alright, well then, take us there. Alright. It's just a little, it's just a few more miles down the street. It's a horde. What the? The heck? What the heck? I thought you guys needed some help. Wait. Dad? Hey, Sarah, it's me. Oh my gosh, Dad! Dad, I thought I lost you. I thought I lost you. It's okay, I'm still alive. Where, where were you all this time? Oh, well, another police station across the street got overrun, and I used to be a part of it. And luckily I escaped, but all of my friends died. Wait, actually, no. Jackson, another an, a, a younger guy, and he and I were friends, and um, he he escaped, but we got split up, and I don't know where he is right now. Uh, okay. Well, I, I'm glad to see that you're alive. Yeah, yeah, it's really good to be alive too. I haven't seen anybody for miles down the street. Can I actually join your join your group? I can be a perfect help to your team. Hey, I don't really trust this guy right now. He's our only chance. Plus, you both are police officers. All right, well, I do have a police station down the street that hasn't been overrun yet. So we can possibly go there and... Um, it's kind of abandoned, but it hasn't been overrun. So, yeah. All right, well, then let's go there. Sixteen minutes later. Alright guys, we have arrived at the police station. Where is it? It used to be right here. Are we here at the police station? It was right here. That's not possible. What? You said there was a dang police station, and there was, but it, it was supposed to be here. Just look. It was supposed to be right in this very spot. Oh. Crap. I think I might know who did this. Who? Oh, the stinky bandits. Oh, they escaped somehow, and they must have burned down the police station. Ugh! When I find them, they're dead. Oh, my gosh. Well, I think we can make camp here for the night, at least. All right, let's make camp. Let's go. Later that night, as they made camp...
Dad, I'm very happy to see that you're alive, and I'm hungry to see that you're alive too. So, Dad, what were you doing before this whole apocalypse thing? Well, I was a very good police officer at the police station I told you about, and until one day, um, a friend of mine named a friend of mine. And named Corey. He 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 used to work at the police station with me, and he got shot by a by a bandit when he was taken by host when he, when he took a hostage, and that's how I'm both been suppressed. I wasn't at work for at least three weeks after that. I can still remember him to this day. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, I really forgot to tell your mom about this and all that. Cut. You do realize mom was infected, right, with the zombies? Wait, she was? Wait, you didn't know about it? She she was infected? Yeah, unfortunately she was. A zombie was in the attic uh, of, of our home. And when she went up there to grab something, it, it collapsed on her and bit her on the face. And that's how she got infected. I had no other choice but to shoot her. Dad, is everything okay? Y y yeah, I'm fine. I just... It's just... I was really close to her. I mean... I loved her ever since we got married. Okay. So, what are we going to do now? I don't know. Gee, me neither. Well, since the police station isn't here anymore and they got burned by those dirty bandits, we might have to try a new place in town. Probably. I mean, there's no other place where to go, but probably another safe place in town. Wait, I do hear that there's a safe zone around here somewhere. Well, why don't we just go to it right now? Yeah, it's too late. It's like 10.30 at night right now. Oh. Jeez, Louise. Alright. Alright, guys, it's 10.30 at night now. I think we should get some sleep. I do- we, He knows a safe place. He knows a safe zone in the morning that was set up by the U.S. military. Alright, well, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Alright, good night, Dad. Good night. Alright, guys, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay up and keep a lookout for any danger. Alright. Good night, everyone. Good night. To be continued.